My name is Robin Williams. I am an instructional coach and a test coordinator for Capitol Hill Montessori School in Washington, D.C. And uh, what uh, sort of thing I asked you a little bit about uh, the test, uh, testing time, mm -hmm. testing. Right. What, uh, so what do you tell a parent or a fellow teacher that says, why are you spending so much time testing? Well, testing is, is really important. I'm one of those people who really likes data, not just for the numbers, but for what it can tell us. Um, so I do a really deep analysis of the data to see um, all of those discrete skills that we, need to, that we need to focus on with students and also the big ideas that we need to focus on so that we can get the biggest bang for our buck. So in terms of, of testing, we, it's really necessary. Over testing, we do have some over testing. What I like about PARC is that it's, it's designed to eliminate some of the testing that we have and give us more meaningful data. So I think that's what I'll be telling my parents moving forward, that it'll give us more meaningful data with less testing overall. Well, what I really like about PARC is, is its design. Um, it has scaffolded questions. In the past, you used to have just um, random questions on an assessment and then a written part at the end. So now we have the questions that are scaffolded. So it, it really gives a help to students. Um, each question is built on the other question, and it builds their understanding. So that even if they get a few of them wrong, they still have a general over understanding and a, a guide to that PCR at the end where that they'll have to write to. I really like that because it mimics really good instruction. So. Absolutely. Um, again, bef before we used to have more procedural type questions, um, and now this really makes you have to justify your answer um, in a way that we haven't had to do before. It's a real mind shift for teaching. It's a mind shift for students. Um, but I think it's a good mind shift because it allows them to really express themselves. I do a lot of range finding also, um, where we go through, we anchor the test, the live test items. And some of them are really surprising because you'll have a prompt and the, the perspective of a child goes way off the rails and you're like, okay, that's not on any of the annotated notes or anything, but this child had a point of view and justified it in a way that you didn't even think about. And, and so the, the new assessments and the new standards allow children to really do that in a way that, that wasn't possible before. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I love the Common Core standards because they're not tied to a curriculum. And um, I've been around for a while. <laughs> and I remember the days of our teacher's editions and they, you, you said this verbatim and you didn't stray from it and this was the, ans the, the way you presented it and the children were expected to give a particular answer. And with Common Core, you, like I said before, you, it allows students to really think and justify their work. So it's, it's completely not constraining at all. It's very exciting. Okay. What, um, uh, how about the teacher involved? Do you feel like, uh, uh, what do you think about, you know, have teachers been involved in that? Should they be in the standards and art? Well, teachers were involved in the creation of the Common Core Standards, which is, which is a shift also, and it's really important. And in terms of um, PARC, like I said, I've been involved with PARC since it came to D.C. I, I ended up in a meeting um, with David Coleman, who's one of the authors of Common Core, at the very beginning, at the inception of it, I believe it was like 2008 or 2009. And when he rolled out this new way of, instru of instruction, I was like, oh, okay, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work, where you just kind of let the kids struggle. We're so used to spoon feeding. But then I saw the logic in it. Um, and and it's, it's a really exciting way. And, and so subsequently, I got involved in crosswalks and range finding, like I said, and standard setting and um, all of it. So I've been really, as an educator, been involved in this entire process. What I love about it is that they want the responses of educators, and they respond to educators. They make the shifts 
based on what we say on our feedback. So I feel very empowered as an educator. What, uh, <laughs> do you worry that you spend too much So funny you should say that because um, as someone who loves data and what it can tell us, um, I've always been involved in how to help our students be the most successful. In the past, I did a lot of test prep. What I love about Park, what I love about Common Core is you cannot test prep to this. You cannot. It really mimics good instruction. You either have done it or you have not. There's no way that you can test prep. So it doesn't sideline your the last month before testing. It doesn't do any of that. If you're teaching and you are using those standards from beginning up to testing, the kids are ready. So. <laughs>